Hello everyone, this video will focus on recursive formula of arithmetic sequence. By definition, recursive formula is a formula that defines each term of a sequence using preceding term. This is the recursive rule. Given the first term represented as a sub 1, a sub n is equal to a sub n minus 1 plus d. In layman's term, we can actually define each of these here because others are going to say, like, what, are, what is this? So we can actually define this in layman's term. Our a sub n here is the next term. And our a sub n minus 1 is the previous term. And our d here is the common difference. So pretty much this recursive formula will give us the next term once we know the previous term. So we have to have the previous term to get to the next term. So let's take some examples right here. Write the recursive rule for the nth term of the sequence 2, 5, 8, 11. As we can see on this sequence, this is added by 3 and this is added by 3 and this is added by 3. So pretty much our difference is 3. So I'm just going to label that as the difference is 3. So then we can go ahead and plug this into this equation. So we have a sub n. So that's a sub n is equal to a sub n minus 1. And then the difference is plus 3. So I go ahead and write plus 3. And this is the recursive formula for this sequence. Okay, now let's move on to the next question right here. What is the fifth term? What is the sixth term? So let's start with the fifth term. So as you can see here, that's uh, first term, second term, third term, fourth term. So if we keep adding three, so the fifth term is expected to be 14. But we have to show using the recursive formula. So I'm just going to go ahead and write, since we are looking for uh, fifth term, term, our n here is 5. So pretty much this is n is equal to 1, n is equal to 2, n is equal to 3, n is equal to 4. So we can go ahead and plug this 5 into the ends of the equation. So that would be a sub 5 is equal to a sub 5 minus 1 plus 3. So uh, if we do the math here, this would come out a sub 5 is equal to a sub 4 plus 3. So pretty much what it's trying to tell us now is that once we know the fourth term, then we just add 3 to it and we get the fifth term. So that matches up here. The next term, which is the fifth term, once we know the previous term, which is the fourth term, so then we can go ahead and determine the next one. So then we plug in the values here. So that would be a sub 4. Looking at the equation right looking at the sequence right here, a1, a2, a3, a4. So a sub 4 is 11 plus 3 is 14. So our a sub 5 is 14. Okay, now let's move on to the sixth term. So it's pretty much the same thing. We're going to label this as n is equal to 6. So then we go ahead and write the equation right here. So in, um, instead of, uh, since we're looking for the six terms, I'm going to change all n's here to six. So that would be a6 is equal to a6 minus 1 plus 3. So this becomes a6 is equal to a5 because you have 6 minus 1 plus 3. So then this would come out our a5. We solved it. That's 14 and then plus 3, so then this would come out a6 is 17. So, okay, so as you can see here, so once we know the previous term, then we will be able to determine the next term. So it's pretty much just this. Once we know the previous term, we will be able to determine the next term. So that is what we mean by a recursive formula. At this time, I would encourage you to pause this video and try this problem out on your own. And when you're done, and pause it and check your answer. 
Okay, so we go over the problem here. Write the recursive rule for the nth term of the sequence 62, 50, 38. So just by looking at this, this is subtracted by 12 each time. So that's minus 12. So 62 minus 12 is 50. 50 minus 12 is 38. So then this is our common difference. We're going to label that as D. So then we can go ahead and write the uh, recursive formula for this. Okay, so this is the recursive rule for this sequence right here. Now we're asked for the fourth term and the fifth term. So I'm just gonna show the work for the fourth term here. Okay, so we have A3, the third term. So this is A1, A2, A3. So that is 38 minus 12, and that would come out as a sub 4, which is equal to 26. So the fourth term is 26. And this makes sense because if we uh, go back to the sequence that we have here, 38 minus 12, we keep on subtracting 12 to each of the term. So 38 minus 12 would be 26. So pretty much if we know the previous term, we will be able to determine the next term. So that's what we mean by recursive formula. Now let's have the second one right here. So we have the fifth term. So this will be labeled as n is equal to five. And then I'm just gonna show the work down here. Okay, did you get the same answers as this? Yay! Good, perfect. Now let's move on to the next one right here. We do it backwards. We're given the recursive formula and we're given the first term. So we're supposed to write out the sequence. So given the first term represented as a sub one and the recursive formula, write the first five terms in the sequence. So I can go ahead and write um, five blanks here for the first five terms. So we're gonna fill this uh, blanks in. So we're gonna start with the first term, which is negative 13. So I'm just gonna go ahead and write negative 13 right here. And then after that, since we say that our difference here is plus six, so we are adding six each time. So that's plus six. So then this would come out, um, negative 13 plus 6 is a negative 7. And then negative 7 plus 6 is negative 1. Negative 1 plus 6 is 5. And then 5 plus 6 is 11. So this is the first five terms of this sequence where our a sub 1 is negative 13. And the recursive formula is a sub n equals a sub n minus 1 plus 6. At this time, I would encourage you to pause this video and try this problem out on your own. And when you're done, and pause it and check your answer. Okay, so we go over the problem here. Again, we are supposed to write the first five terms here. So I'm just gonna create the fi uh, first five blanks. Okay, so this is the sequence that matches up to these conditions that we have here. Did you get the same answers as this? Yeah! Good, perfect. If you find this video helpful, hit like and subscribe for more math videos. See ya!